Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful for you guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe. If you guys have a Hyundai Santa Fe, you removed your throttle body and you see quite a bit of carbon buildup on the backside of the throttle body or you removed the intake manifold and you have a lot of buildup on the intake manifold or the intake valves. Stay with us, we'll explain one simple thing that can cause that guys. It costs only a few dollars and most people never ever think about replacing that. Uh, now, we'll be demonstrating on a 2013 engine but it should work on practically any generation Hyundai Santa Fe from year 2000 to year 2021 currently guys. Now uh, before we start let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart guys. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. I want you guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Now uh, with that being said guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our parts and tools from. So, now we guys started taking this engine apart here out of a Hyundai Santa Fe and we want to show you how terribly bad it is on the inside. Now the intake manifold, if you look at it, okay, check it out, all that is carbon build up, a lot of oil, the throttle body itself, okay. We want to show you now, I'm going to remove the intake money for the throttle body. We clean half of it, the other half. Okay, it's practically terrible, guys. So, uh, and if you look at the valves, okay, the valves are devastating. I'm not exaggerating, guys. Those are the valves right there. A lot of buildup, carbon buildup. You can see how much it is. It's, you cannot even see the valve. So what practically, guys, causes that, okay? Let's explain that now. How that engine can get oil there. Okay, and carbon build up. Oil, okay, it's different. And you can get oil if you have a turbo engine from a failing turbo. But this engine is non-turbo. It's a 2.4 natural aspired engine. So how that can happen? There is only one thing that can do that, guys. And if you look at it on the intake manifold, usually I have a hose that connects it to the cylinder head, to the valve cover, okay, like that to that device here. This device right here, guys, it's known as a PCV valve, positive crankcase ven ventilation valve. What this valve does, when the engine runs, it creates pressure inside because the pistons move up and down. If that pressure doesn't come out of the engine, you will destroy every gasket, every seal that you have, and uh, practically it will not be a running engine. So the purpose of that valve, actually, it will take the air out of the system and inject it in the intake manifold and burn through the cylinders. But uh, the oil vapors will be separated and it will leak back in the engine. If that valve fails, what will happen? You will start putting, guys, a lot of oil, engine oil, that will result into carbon buildup. Okay, you can see, and your intake manifold and everything else will be terrible, guys. So uh, this is uh, due to the fact, okay, that this PCV valve failed. Most of you probably, guys, don't even replace those at all. And if you check your service manual, I guarantee that on most cars, you have to replace them at around 60 to 80,000 miles. And they're, they cost just a few dollars, super easy to replace. Okay, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from. It's called a PCV valve. And uh, if you replace them regularly, okay, your engine can run really smooth. Now, another thing, guys, if that valve fails completely, what can happen? You can start putting so much oil in the intake manifold and through the engine that you may think you have a blown engine. We've seen that happen before as well. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find this information. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.